You can handle that pull up. Uh, and I come correct. And you're my swag, so official like I'm the rep. See, I be rocking with me, so shorties wanna do me. Put your hands up if you have some. my channel it's for horror with Anna Belzik and today we're gonna to be doing pet peeves you know those annoying things that people do that ah I don't know and I'm sure there are also some things that I do that uh, people may find annoying but it's not about you it's about me you go make your own channel and then talk wow I don't know where I can bring if you're those people who walk and suddenly stop this is for you what the fuck is you doing honey what is you doing? Like this can happen in the freaking supermarket where you're walking down the aisle and someone just stops. I feel like the worst thing is when families stop at the same time. Like four people will suddenly stop walking. It's like, um, <laughs> you're new to this walking thing. Do you also think this is your corridor? Amma, you've bought shares to this street that I don't know. Maybe you've created this street. Amma, your grandfather made this street. Otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> my thing is i find it so irritating when someone's doing something irritating and they do know they're doing it if that makes sense like you're chewing loudly how do you not hear yourself chew like i'll tell you this guy who's in my group or was in my group whichever you know you're doing group work and then you meet as a group so one of my group mates was like oh yeah who wants gum me i'm always game for gum in fact i feel like if you are ever going to drag me don't even bother putting shit in my alcohol just put it in the why am i telling people how to drag me point is you offered gum and i was like yeah i want some gum gave everyone like two three people while well, i ate like two three people well, also wanted gum so i gave them gum and at some point we parted like three people left there like we took a break and i was hearing this out here chewing like you have four stomachs and what was worse is that when he was talking it's like he didn't want the juices to chuck from his mouth so he's talking then that's what i think is bruh excuse next time anyone is offering gum i must smack it from your hand because you do not you don't know how to chew gum it's like chewing food meaning meaning when you're chewing food you're out here speaking yeah pet peeve number three line cutters you know people who are trying to overtake as usual i have lovely story times short ones there's no business school cafe and i think it was lunch time or something but me i was getting food or forever hungry yeah so i was getting food and as we were standing in the queue like the queue was clean i knew who was behind who was who i was following like who was behind i knew i didn't know who was behind but you know how you just know you're covering and at some point as we were walking like as the line is moving i noticed this guy i'm not gonna say i don't know what can we name him we're gonna call this boy a horse so as we're standing in the line yeah i know who i'm standing behind and then this horse guy comes out of nowhere and i can see you know how when someone's overtaking they don't like show like they're overtaking they like to behave like they don't know what they're doing like they don't know how their legs got them there so i was just in the mood to be petty as fuck and i'm like you're not gonna get away with this shit not with me be not with me so he starts Jifanya, he's getting getting into the line, kiddo, kiddo, go. Me, I'm moving closer. Then I noticed it's a losing battle. He had gotten so much into the line that I now looked like I was squeezing him, like it just looked ridiculous. So I said, fine, plan B. I have to speak up. Clean. Hi, asking. I'm like, excuse me, are you in the queue? With my face like this, because I was really wondering. I was like, are you in the queue? Oh, you know, you know, I just thought, I just thought that people were standing in the queue and I just, uh, can I, I'll just stand behind you. I'm like, yeah. And it stood behind me. Surely. You think all of us will make this queue to go eat for what? You think that you were like, hmm, let me just pass him and make a line here in the queue. What? I am so into this point, like to the point where, you know how if you even go for shopping with your friends and then your friend goes in the queue and then the queue suddenly, <laughs> 10,000 people have come out of nowhere and they're also queuing. But there's the option of you joining your friend and cutting the queue. I'm that bitch who will go to the back and make sure now all my friends wait for me because it's just not fair. You don't, don't be out here disrespecting people like that. And I know it's something small, but nah, it's principle B, stupid little hoe. Hey, sorry, in this pet peeve thing, eh, pet peeve, <laughs> in this pet peeve thing, I'm really going to be abusing people because it's, we're talking about annoying things, so I can't help it people who talk over you before you even finish your sentence you're telling me you're that smart you know what i'm about to fi finish saying you have to interrupt me and say it before me what what 
the disrespect and let me tell you this happens to me i feel like there's a sign on my head that says oh i don't know what i'm saying please help me is there a sign thought so so why are people confused in this society because <laughs> in my course we have a lot of group work sometimes when we're asking questions like to the lecturers we will just hear kamodo saying i think i think what she's trying to say and i'm like First of all, that's not what I was trying to say. Second of all, I'm still talking. How can you say what I'm trying to say even before I finish saying what I'm trying to f***ing say? Tell me. Shh. Keep quiet. Let people finish talking, then you can talk. Don't interrupt human beings here. I don't know who you. First of all, it's not like your voice is the most amazing thing on this earth that it's so melodious. We're out here begging to hear your voice. We don't want, by the way. We don't want. It's not the best voice, by the way. When you interrupt me, I lose my trail of thought. There it goes. My point has now gone. So now, when it when it hits me now later in the evening, what I wanted to ask, what should I do without information? People, hmm? people who put their bags on the seat next to them in the bus, as if they are booking that seat where no one else can sit next to them. Like we are all using this public transport. I don't know why you're feeling hot number for people on public transport. I don't understand. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I've paid thirty pounds a month to use this bus i'm gonna be like excuse me and sit there even if all the other seats are available i'm gonna sit on that same chair because i'm petty like that or the people who step on the back of this <laughs> like i don't think it's fair honestly let's think as genuine human beings you've stepped on the seat in front of you that someone's going to come and sit on basic decency it's not something you have to be taught in a classroom it's basic decency would you like to sit on a seat that someone else eh, sit and sit is a tongue twister but would you like to sit on a seat whatever that someone has put their feet on no so why do you want someone else going through the same thing when you hold the door for someone and they don't say thank you ama they just walk through like that was your job description like that's what you are supposed to do. Excuse me. You can't say thank you. Mpaka even you're not even holding the door because you're expecting me to hold it for... Do you think I'm here? I'm a watchman. I'm what do you think? Do you think I'm your servant or something? You can't say thank you. I'm all for loving yourself, but don't be a conceited piece of shit about it. Nah, just love yourself and appreciate other human beings. I don't understand. When people are not taught to treat others the way they want to treat them, so you want to be treated... People who can't put their phone on silent and then it's like silent vibrate. So every moment people are talking on your group chat, your phone is buzzing like a little. Thank you. We're in class, we're in the library. Put that shit off. Okay. I don't know why we have to keep hearing. Bzz, bzz. Second of all, if you're texting back and forth with someone, why the heck is that noise there? Like, you know you're going to reply or you know they're going to reply. What? That noise is to notify you there's a message coming in. But if you know there's a message coming in, why the f*** is there a f***ing buzzing noise? And I'm not lying. Like, this thing is so annoying because it happens a lot in the library. And it says in the library, put your phone on silence. You know that noise is so... I think it's also because it's... I don't know if it's because it's low or it's just... It's just loud. It's just like... Bzz, bzz. It's like a bee. I'm like a wasp. Just there. Bzz, bzz you're talking back and forth with someone so you know after you text them they're going to reply so why does that notification need to be on why 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 you know they're going to reply why for what you're even using your phone as that noise is coming in can we please do better in society <laughs> parents who make you sacrifice for their kids I don't know if this is a sensitive one, but it's something that annoys me, so it is what it is. Um, have you ever been, <laughs> have you ever gone out with, let's say your aunt or whatever, and they have a young kid, and let's even go to a restaurant, yeah? And you, you want a vanilla milkshake. Then as you're ordering your milkshake, you just say, ah, uh ah, -uh, don't order that. You know he'll want and we're not allowing him to eat on Sundays. Ma'am, ma'am, yeah, you. How is that my problem? <laughs> How is that really my problem as a human being? That's a you kind of problem. That's what it actually, actually, that's a you kind of problem. Mm, yeah. The ones where they're like, ah, just share with him. You know, he won't even finish a full one. But I can finish a full one. That's why I ordered for a full burger. Me, I'm not understanding how your child's issues are mine. Me, that's why I'm not getting. I don't know. I'm not understanding. But we never know. Maybe even me, when I was a kid, my issues became 
some other human beings problem who's not my parents we don't know we don't know it's still irritating <laughs> still a pet peeve honey still a pet peeve stores that forcefully ask for extra stores that forcefully ask for donations like at the checkout st the checkout part let me give you a funny story not even funny irritating so one time i was going to school and i went to this place called greg's where they have pastries so i asked for a sausage roll and our sausage roll is 90 pence i have 90 pence on me i had a pound so i knew i'd get 10 pence change so i go and ask for my sausage roll i give my pound she gives it to me wraps it nicely even you can even say it was wrapped nicely and i'm just standing there still and she just continued she gave it to me and moved on with her life and i just stood there like I read I saw 90p, I gave her a pound, 90p. Hmm. So my excuse me, um my 10 pounds change. 10 pounds, my 10p change. She started mumbling. This is like an old lady. So I won't talk too much smack about her. But she started mumbling. She's like, oh, people normally give their change as donations. I didn't think that you'd want yours. Who gave you that right? You know the ones where you're almost like, Dad, when you send money, do you normally send to this girl lady here at Greg's? And no, you don't. So who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? No, I'm talking to you. Who the fuck are you? Huh? No one. That's what you are. A nobody. So give me back my 10p. I don't care even if it's one p. It's my one pence. Okay. Thank you. You know how even sometimes when you're going to like Nakumat, Kaifo, or to me, and they say, Ati, we don't have five bob change. But you know what my mom tells me? She's like, no, wait there for that five bob. Have you ever gone to the supermarket and bought bread? Then you're short of five bob and they still give you the bread. So why when the supermarket is short of five bob, me, I'm supposed to move on? Now, B, would you sell for me this sausage roll if I had 80p and not 90? Thank you. So why the heck are you going with my 10p for? It's mine. It's mine. Don't take money from people. Ask me. Just be like, would you like to donate 10p? to this foundation that does da 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 don't just take it assuming that i don't have any function for that 10 pence because my dear i have very many plans with that 10 pence maybe if it was one pence people that won't say hi to you or acknowledge your presence because you don't know them let me tell you what situation this comes into play is when you're with your friend let's say you're with your friend you're here yeah and then their friend passes by and they start walking now to you guys and he or she says hi to your friend but doesn't say to you as if like you know sometimes i'm like am i invisible i must be transparent um am i transparent guardian angel oh i'm not i'm actual flesh so why aren't you acknowledging my presence i'm not saying come and hug me and kiss me i don't know busy you busy you nah i'm just saying even if it's just this or raising your eyebrows don't behave like you can't see me because i know you can fucking see me <sighs> i know if you could feel the tension but that was a heated one. Share with me any pet peeves that you may have or things that people do that just annoy you. Or if you agree with some of my pet peeves, if you what pet peeves, please let me know. As usual, if you want to have a more intimate relationship with me, you can follow me on my Twitter and my Instagram. Sorry about my Snapchat. I barely use Snapchat, so I don't even know why I used to promote my Snapchat. But I barely use Snapchat in case you've sent me anything on Snapchat. So I don't use it. I just... Instagram is a place to be, Twitter once in a while, and YouTube if you want to get some eye and email for business inquiries such as singing, dancing, and entertainment. Thanks. Bye. Let me know. Because the party don't stop in here